come straight to um, George. George, so yes, David. the way it is, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, MPP is digging their heels in. You guys are digging your heels in, saying that lie, lie. Uh, uh, Godfrey Dami is not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, how do you juxtapose this position of the party versus some of the calls? Forget about, you, mm -hmm. well, we can't forget what the NDC has said, but I'm just saying that if you put the NDC's commentary on the side, there are people like Kuku Ansari, former um, director general mm -hmm. of the law school, who actually, before the, the press conferences came up yesterday, had commented and suggested that per what he was hearing, you mm -hmm. know, um, the Attorney General should just step aside and save his good name. Okay. So, um, I think your question is, in, is, in, is a good one, and I would, I would attempt to um, give the perspectives around the issues. But before I go into mm. that, let me say my congratulations to two of my big brothers. Today, since we are discussing law, they are actually lawyers to um, lawyer Samuel Uku, who is um, head for NLA. Yeah. Um, two times in a row, he has been awarded the best CEO for um, state agencies. Mm. And then my good brother, um, lawyer Clement Okoku Jemfi, mm. who is also DC for Amansia South. Um, his district has been awarded as the best administered district in Ashanti region and the fifth in the country okay. by the Institute of Local Government Studies. Now back to the main issues that we are talking about. See, for me, I think that just like the um, Honorable ja Judge said, mm. when it comes to matters of law, mm. they ought to be treated as matters of law, and it is only the position of the law that will be used to judge these matters. So for example, on the um, Article 14 case, for instance, mm. now, there are issues that are before the court. What are these issues? The Attorney General has presented its evidence. Mm. There are even claims that um, at the time, before the contract was entered into, mm. the then health minister recommended against the said purchase and all of that. All these things are before the court. Mm. Now, it is only the matters before the court and the evidence that has been submitted before the court mm. that will be used to adjudicate this matter. Any other commentary is irrelevant to, to the, the case. case. Okay. Now, if you look at how um, cases are done in this country, and if you look at our jurisprudence as a country that practices law, mm -hmm. you would realize that there is what we call the appropriate forum for every case. Now, if there is a matter involving military personnel, it will not be judged in the Kanishi market. Okay. Obviously, the appropriate forum will be a court martial mm -hmm. by the Ghana Armed Forces to address mm -hmm. such matters. Okay. Now, if there is if I feel that my rights have been trampled upon as guaranteed by the 1992 Constitution, mm. per Article 33 of the 1992 Constitution, the appropriate forum for that would be a high court. Now, if I, I have um, an issue with the constitutionality of a matter or I, I, I want to have the interpretation of, let's say, an act or any provision whatsoever which, which appears to not be clear, mm. what I would have to do as a person is to invoke my rights in Article 2 to invoke the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court in Article 130 to get the Supreme Court to say that, okay, for this particular phrase or law or provision whatsoever, this is what it means. Because in any case, there's a spirit of the law and there's a letter of the law. Mm. And it's only the Supreme Court that does that kind of es um, explanation and determinations. Mm. Now, when we come back to these matters before us today, for me, this is not a matter that we have to be um, subjecting to political gymnastics, because it will add nothing to the substance of the issues before the court. In any case, if there is anyone out there who feels that the Attorney General has misconducted himself, the Attorney General has done anything untoward, the Attorney General has done anything that um, his office does not allow, mm. where does the person go to? Is it to court the attention of the court of public opinion? Mm. Press conferences do not solve legal issues in this country. If I am an Attorney General tomorrow, Mm. and I am in any issue that anybody feels should be addressed or ought not to be seen in a certain way. Mm. There are forums that the person can take the matter up if indeed that person is interested in bringing finality to the issue. The person can go to the Disciplinary Committee or the Ghana Bar Association. The person can go to the Ghana Legal Council. Mm. The person can even take up a full-blown legal issue against me if indeed they think that they have evidence mm. whatsoever to pursue such a matter. And I think that is how we need to work on matters of legality in this country. Okay. You recall that during the 2020 um, election petition, the NDC made a lot of noise on um, 
various platform talking about the things that they were taking to the court and the fact that it, it, at a point it even appeared that they had won the case before going to court. Mm. They go to court and they are now chairman who was then general secretary told the Supreme Court that the NDC had come to court without evidence. And this is fact. And so for me, I want to tell the NDC that they should help the development of our, our, our jurisprudence as a country. They mm. should help the development of our legal process. They should help the development of our democratic practice such that if there is anything they feel, mm. if there is anything they feel is substantial enough, let's just go to the appropriate forums mm. and have these matters addressed. As for the social commentary, we can make them and make them and make them from morning to afternoon and nothing will happen. Mm. And they will not affect the substance and the matter before the court of competent jurisdiction. So for me, I think that it's about time that we treat issues the way they ought to be treated. There, there is somebody who is before the court as an accused person. Mm. There are even letters that prove that this, the, the companies involved with this person even attempted a plea bargain. Sitting here, mm. what would make me even attempt a plea bargain for something that I feel that I have done? Um, I, I don't have the even innocent. any involvement mm. whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, what would make me do that? Mm. And you see, before the start of this case, the, end is, um, the defense team mm. put a request before the court for a no case. Okay. And what did the court do? The court objected to that. The court said no. There was a prima facie and there was something to find. Mm. And so if there is something to find, mm. What do we do? We have to go and find that thing according to the laws of the land. And for me, I listening to the presser of the NDC and all of that, and seeing some people jubilate over nothing, which is I was saddened because at this point, lawyers who are even going around doing some of these things should be concerned about the provisions of Article 18 to in our own constitution. They should be concerned about this? it. Who talks about the fact that people are entitled to their own privacy? Sure. David, I can't call you. I can't call you tomorrow and record a conversation between you and I. And the next moment, I have put it on TV for whatever reason, assuming that is even the case. Mm. We should be concerned about things like that. And I have heard arguments that that are also in line with um, LI twenty four twenty three and all the other issues re relating to people wanting to impugn the image of the Attorney General. And I think, David, yeah. see, when we talk about Godfrey Diabo Adame and what he has done for this country, if you allow me, I would go through some of the things that he's done for this country. This is, a, this is an Attorney General who has been able to fight for us to save close to 10 billion Ghana cities from unwarranted judgment debts. And so if you look at the politics of the matter, this is somebody who has fought for judgment debts that were, were awarded under the NDC regime to be rejected by courts of this country by fighting them, providing evidence why the state did not so need to pay. spend on these things. And, uh, and I'll mention some of them to you. Okay. There is this case, um, suit number RPC 34-2007. It involved the African Automobile Limited versus the Ministry of Employment and Manpower and Development. Mm. This case... Ghana was expected, the government of Ghana was expected to pay a judgment debt of 1 billion 273 million Ghana cities. Mm. 1 billion 273 million Ghana cities. When Godfrey Ebo Adami, the same person we are talking about, when mm. he fought these matters, mm. we ended up paying 14,000 Ghana cities. Look at, look, at the, look at the magnitudes of the savings. Yeah. And then if it was business at, as usual and the Attorney General sat back and all these things just went on, the country would have paid over 1.2 billion in unwarranted judgment debts. And for me, this is someone who is doing the work of God. He's, he's actually doing what an attorney general ought to be doing. As for the social commentary and the issues around what has happened, and this person has said it, and this person has said that, I would like to go with the position of the Honorable Judge, as you read, read earlier. These are matters of law. They should be treated in a court of competent ju jurisdiction. If anybody has anything that they want to submit to the debate, they should go to court and argue their case out. Any other thing that happens in the public mm. is much ado about nothing. Okay. See, we cannot sit on this platform here, as big as it is, and determine or give finality no, to we, the no, case. No, it will not happen. No, we can't. But I'm also, it won't happen. But I'm also worried about something. And I, I mean... I'm, I'm willing to, to be educated further on how these things work. But um, if you look at, so every, somebody can have all his pluses. Yes. Good things, he's done, 
you know, and all of those things. And in, 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 a, in, in a case where the person is facing a court, uh, um, you know, yeah. they, will, they, may, they may look at those things and say, he's done one, two, three, four, five amazing things. But you're not in court because of the amazing things you've done. Yes. You are in court because of the issues that you've, uh, the infractions, okay. you know, against mm -hmm. the law that yes. you're in court yes. because of that. So, yes. As much as we are just the public and we are not in the court of law on the substantive issues, mm -hmm. there's a concern that if uh, an attorney general of this standing, right, appears to be in a murky kind of situation with something that he shouldn't be involved with, um, someone like Kukwu and Sarasari is making a comment and saying that he needs to, you know, step down from his position. No, David, David, people are entitled to their opinions. Yeah. Kukwu and Sarasari, mm. who, who, who has taught me mm. uh, in the past, mm. is entitled to his, his opinions. Mm. But what is clear is that mm. his opinions are his opinions and not law. Okay. His opinions are not the laws of the land. Okay. Now, really. we need to make something clear here. And, mm. I, and I stated it, uh, clearly mm. earlier mm. that if anyone thinks that the Attorney General has misconducted himself, mm -hmm. there is an appropriate forum to for do, seeking to, to redress, redress to that. that. And okay. that is what I expect anyone who feels okay. so to do. Fair enough. You don't, you don't just, as for the public commentary yeah. and the um, political gymnastics mm -hmm. and saying mm -hmm. this here and saying this there, anybody can do that. It yeah. brings no results. Okay. If, I feel, if I feel that the Attorney General has misconducted mm -hmm. himself, there are appropriate forums that I have to use to do that. In any case, this is not even the substantive matter no. before the court. Yeah. And then all the commentary and all the press conferences will not affect the substantive matter no. before the court. Okay. Right. So, Thank David, I think, I think that is the point where it we, it, we, it, we it, need, it, we it need to move sense. to. Yes. Let's yes. not waste too much time arguing over what is right and what is wrong. What is right and what is wrong is provided for by the laws of the land. Yeah. And that is what will determine what okay. is right or what is wrong. All right. Fair enough. Right, so let me introduce my other guest to you. He's here, Eric Delano Alifo Esquire. He is a member of the NDC Legal as well as Communications team. So you're welcome. Thank you. How David. are you doing? It's I'm been a while. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I was the only one. So yeah, yes. I know. Yes. I know. That was quite a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I haven't been here yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have you back. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad All right, to be here so um, the NDC had a press conference yesterday. Yes. Um, <clears throat> you, you seem to have made your uh, case quite strongly, but in the public domain, as opposed to, uh, as George is suggesting, take your matter to court. Why, didn't you, why don't you take your matter to court? Well, okay, thank you very much. And uh, um, good morning to uh, viewers, your viewers as well. George, uh, may I know first if George is a lawyer, is he? No, I'm not. Oh, okay, he's not, okay. Now I understand because... He kept on praising the Attorney General, thinking that he's doing everything right. And if he were to be a lawyer, he would have known that he's doing a lot of things wrong. And, uh, and that is what we are focusing on. Because um, there, you see, there's, there's a certain conduct that is expected of lawyers mm. and of Attorney General, who is the leader of the bar. Mm. You know, uh, that office is huge. It's a very big office. And uh, so he's a leader of all of us, the lawyers, and uh, he knows the, the conduct that is expected of us in court. Mm. So we are not here talking about all the good things that he has done, the money he has saved. Of course, in part, I, his conduct, some of his conduct in the past also led to some judgment, judgment debt um, against this country anyway. But really? I don't want to go, yes, I, I, I don't think that is the issue on board now. No, the issue on board now is his conduct in a particular case. Conduct that can be described as misconduct. Mm -hmm. And indeed, it, it is misconduct, you see. So that is what we are focusing on. And so when he, he talks about well, if you have any issue with um, anybody or how uh, cases are going, you have to go to court and fight it. Of course, he doesn't determine how people should fight their cases. They will fight their cases the way they, will, the way they want to fight their cases. The issues that have to be in court mm. are in court. Okay. But it doesn't mean that. You see, they, when, when a matter is reported to the police uh, in, in criminal matters like this, they do investigation. The investigation starts from outside the court. Okay. So there are issues yeah. from outside the court mm. that go to the court mm. to form part of the evidence for adjudication. Mm. And so you cannot say that people should not put their matters before the general public. And of course, the attorney general 
He's also doing his work. He's holding that office on behalf of Ghanaians. In fact, he's the only minister that is mentioned in the Constitution. Yeah. So he's acting on behalf of Ghanaians, not on behalf of a particular government alone. Mm. So we need to understand that very well, that if he's prosecuting, he's prosecuting on behalf of all of us Ghanaians. We have to follow the process. We have to be very confident in the process. Mm. And so people cannot tell us that, oh, no, don't, don't say anything to the general public. They don't need to know anything. Just go to court and fight it, and then let's keep them in the, in the dark. So whatever it is, is happening in the court, whatever the attorney general is doing, once he's doing that in the name of Ghanaians mm. and on behalf of all of us, it has to be put in the public domain, and that is what is happening. So when a witness, an accused person, in a case goes to court and says that this particular attorney general had made approaches to me, he tried to get me to testify in a particular way so that he will convict somebody. Mm. We should be interested. Ghanaians should be interested. It is not only for the judge that should be interested. We should all know that he's holding this office on our behalf. Mm. And so it is good that we put that also out there. And of course, because we also think that, look, NDC as a party believes that this attorney general is just doing a hatchet job against his political opponents. And so if we think so, we have to let our supporters know. We have to let the general public know. And we have to put evidence before them. It doesn't mean that we are saying that the issues that have to be determined by the court should be determined by the general public. No. Mm. If you watch, if you do watch uh, uh, CNN mm. or the international media, yeah, network, yeah. Trump is in court now every single day that is in court. There are lawyers sitting, you know, commentators, and uh, they all sit around and they discuss the case every time because the general public also deserves to know what is going on. And so we have to let them know that our attorney general, this is the conduct that he's engaging. And that conduct is a misconduct. And so when we get juries like uh, Kweku Asara, sorry, and uh, there's another professor, Itua or something also, calling on him to resign, I think it's appropriate mm. because he has mis misconducted himself. And the instances are that he knows very well that our professional conduct rules prohibit a lawyer from speaking to a party in a matter that is represented by a lawyer or a witness, the, that party can be referred to as a witness as well, mm -hmm. once he, he mounts a witness uh, box and, and, and speaks. Yes, so if the person is represented, in fact, in, in other jurisdictions, developed jurisdictions, if you, they will ask you if you need a lawyer, because mm -hmm. then you have to let the court know clearly that, no, you want to represent yourself, because if you say that I need a lawyer, but I don't have money, mm -hmm. they will get you a lawyer. Mm -hmm. They will you get you a lawyer before, before anybody can question you. Mm -hmm. They will make sure that you, have, you are represented every time. You see, so a person who is represented in a matter, and then you make approaches to that person, you talk to the person on phone in the night, you go and meet the person in another justice's home and trying to impress upon the person, and that person is an accused person anyway. Once he's an accused person, he's also scared of his liberty because he knows that, look, I'm also going, there's a possibility that I may also go to jail. Yeah. And so, well, if I, if I comport myself very well and I cooperate with the attorney general, perhaps I may not go to jail. And so if it's not somebody that, that is very strong in his mind and is, like he said, he doesn't want to be dishonest. If it's not somebody like that, he will say, yeah, no, instead of just trying to go against the tides, against what the attorney general wants, mm -hmm. let me just um, do whatever he wants so that I will go free. But he says, no, I can't do that. My conscience will not allow me. And this attorney general is telling him that, go and acquire a medical report to deceive the court that you are sick. You can come to court. This attorney general, and then you are touting that we save money, so what? You can, save, you can save anything for the country, and yet we are looking at the conduct, the particular conduct in this case. They are not talking about it. So when the MPP organized a press conference and they went on and on, and this is trying to blah, 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 they never commented on the conduct that we are complaining about. And that conduct is so bad, quite bad, and this attorney general must go. And earlier you mentioned that since George is not a lawyer, yes. um, he may not appreciate fully the gravity of the misconduct that um, the apparent misconduct that um, the, you are accusing the um, attorney general of but frank davis yes who spoke yes um f for the mpp yesterday yes is illegal what did you say what did he say about the conduct of the of the attorney general nothing zilch zero he didn't he didn't defend any of the allegations that are put out in but fact, he defended fact, they, the attorney general and no, said that did. they will, they will, not, they will yeah. stand behind yeah, him. Yeah, if they say they will stand behind what does that mean? They will stand, MPP will stand behind him. It's one of theirs. Mm. So that one doesn't mean anything. There are specific allegations. Mm. We expect, in fact, that's what we were waiting for. In fact, when they issued their first statement, the first statement in reaction to Mr. Jakba's uh, uh, testimony in court, he, he said that, they said the attorney general never met that man. But anyway, let's go beyond that. 
Then they went ahead and said that they also um, they had a video recording of Honorable Atul Fosin having approached the Attorney General and begging that the case should be dropped against him. They never provided that, although I have been arguing all along that even if he did that, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong if you are prosecuting me. There's nothing wrong if I come to you and I tell you that, David, look, all these cases I, well, you are doing, we are just wasting everybody's time, so just drop it and let's have our peace of mind. There's nothing wrong with that. So if I told Boston even did that, there's nothing wrong with that. And yet they couldn't even come out with that. So all that uh, they did yesterday in their press conference, just throwing dust into the eyes of the people. And of course, and I, I heard him, you know, he, at one time he said when he was making his submission, he said that uh, if they did not uh, commit any crime, why would they want play bargain? It is not like that. The play bargain, and of course, you should even know the party that is seeking a plea bargain in this matter. Mm -hmm. It is Big C. Mm -hmm. Big C. Big C is not a party to the matter, but they are the suppliers of the ambulance. Big okay. C wrote to the Attorney General, and if this Attorney General is, a, and, <coughs> and mind you, this is something we are also missing, which I, I need to point out. The law of causing financial loss to the state mm -hmm. doesn't have any element that the person who is prosecuted should benefit from, from, from whatever money that is lost. Okay. To, to explain that very well means that, you see, there, there's no element that those who are being prosecuted, mm. there must be proof that they benefited any amount from that money. Okay. So it's possible that you just perform your duty, you never even got a dime yeah. from it, and yeah. yet that duty ended up in losing some money for the state. Yeah. So, so clearly, if, if, if they are going after you, so you see that the country and Attorney General who is prosecuting on behalf of all of us mm. should be interested in retrieving the money, if we can get the money. Yeah. And, and let me quickly, before you ask the question, because I was, I, was, I was building a point, I was saying that Big C wrote to the Attorney General and said that, look, we are the suppliers of the ambulance. Mm. We don't want all this melee. We don't want all these problems, bro, ha, ha, and all of that. So we are prepared to give you your money, your two million uh, euro, if you can give us back the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Any Attorney General who is prosecuting on behalf of Ghanaians representing our interests will grab that money and use it to do something, to build some school somewhere, to start the Pualugu uh, 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 dam or whatever, mm. to do something. But Attorney General says, no, 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 I'm not interested in that money. I just, if these people that I'm prosecuting, unless they will come out and say that, yes, they are guilty. Mm. And the, 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 the big thing is saying that, I don't care whether they are guilty or not. It is your money that I believe that everybody should be interested in getting your money back. Mm. We'll give the money to you. He says, no. He says, no. And I, 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 I heard uh, on another media, somebody was asking, did he, I think yesterday, somebody was asking a lawyer that, did he not have a discretion to decide whether to accept the, he said, yeah, you have. But that discretion, you must know that you are exercising it on we behalf of Ghanaians. And we are more interested in the money. And so you see, you, you see MPP communicators sitting here and say, oh, he saved this money, he saved this money. He's just interested in getting somebody in jail. He's not interested in retrieving even a city for Ghanaians. And that is why the people offered that we'll give you this money. He says, no, I don't want it. I just want Atul Fosin in jail. And you think that we should be applauding somebody like this and say that, oh, because it's a court that deals with it. So, so it should be very clear to my friend, who is not a lawyer, that <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you make a plea bargain, it doesn't, it's not admission of guilt. It doesn't mean that. In fact, when, when they do plea bargain in, uh, in civil cases, mm. in civil cases like terms of settlement, mm. you know, when the two of us are fighting in court, we can decide that we agree on some terms. Uh, you want so much, okay, can you come down a little bit, and then can also admit certain things, and then we put it down on paper, and then we take it to court, and the court will accept that as judgment, consent judgment. The two of us, we have agreed to that. The court will never vary anything about it. So in, in, in criminal trial, they are providing the, the opportunity for, because the, the full trial takes a lot of time and money. Mm. And so we are saying that, well, you know what, I, I will save you all the time that you have to go through um, in this trial, I will accept that I, I have oh, committed some of the offenses and then I'll have lesser, okay. you know, so, so that is how plea so bargain is. plea bargain in order not to drag things out Exactly. Okay. It is no admission mm -hmm. that all that you have charged me of, I am guilty. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Not yes, at all. Yes, so the, yes, the, the, the bargain, and you know what the bargain is, is, is you, you give and take. It's a negotiation. Yes, yeah, so, so mm -hmm. you know that the, the crime that you have charged me of, maybe there are about uh, 34 counts. Mm -hmm. And I said that, you know what, I'll plea. I'll plead for uh, guilty for about five of them. Mm. It will save all of us time. The same things that you wanted for me, you also reduce it. It doesn't mean that I'm admitting that I am guilty for all the crimes, or I'm even guilty for any of the crimes and all of that. All these things go into that consideration. That is why we need to understand all these things very well. And so, but in this particular case, the plea bargain proposal was made by Big C. All right. Big okay. C. 
think we're held. I don't know if George has any further comments. Yes, sure, I do. Before we make progress. Okay. So, I mean, I, I was listening to my, my brother Eric and mm. constantly making reference to the fact that I am not a lawyer, so I don't appreciate some issue as well. You see, I mentioned clearly. So, mm. what Eric is doing is like telling us that we can't see when a goal is called because. Um, we are not we are coaches. No coaches. <laughs> but the football rule says that when the total circumference of the ball mm. crosses the goal line, mm. it is a goal. Mm. This is a principle. Mm. Once that happens, I don't need to be a coach or a referee to know mm. that the goal has been scored. A mm. goal has indeed been scored. And I have mentioned clearly that these matters before us today are matters of law. Mm. When it comes to misconduct, misconduct is not misconduct relating to a person in the legal practice. Mm. It's not determined by, at a press conference. Mm. Misconduct um, being done by alleged misconduct being done by some, a lawyer or whoever, in the, let's say a judge or whatever, mm -hmm. it, the final conclusion would not be determined at a press conference okay. or on a TV program. Okay. You would have to test the law. If you think that somebody has misconducted himself mm. and you have a case, there is what we call the appropriate forum. And mm. I mentioned that earlier. Yes, you if you think that a lawyer has misconducted himself, you have every right to mm. go to the, um, the disciplinary committee. Mm. Of Are the you saying the public doesn't have to know? No, no, you Eric, know what you're saying. no, I'm no. saying no, no. Saying, so, saying, but, but who is who is it? Who is saying that the public is no, no, no. no. The, the if you think that the lawyers are fighting that, in court, no. yeah. the fact that the general public no, has to know, no, they are putting that you can't be criticized. No, that's no, no, that's not it. Eric, what is what he's saying? What he's saying here, and I'm not holding beef for him, but this is what I understood by what he's saying. Yes, instead of. Uh, if you really feel so impassioned yes. by 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 the issues, yes. why don't you gather your evidence? And who says we are not in court? And take the matter to court. Who says we are not in court? Who says, who says we are not in court? You are not and I have told you, you already that the general court. public also needs to know what is going on. So, so okay, it's, yes. So, 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 resolving matters at mm. the appropriate forum. So for example, if there's a human rights issue against me, mm. Article 33 of the Constitution tells me that I have to go to the high court. This is a political to, to prosecution. Have, have it, so so, so the political arena, understand. we have to fight it there I as well. Come on, I will Please not come wait. and sit on TV. <laughs> In the case of Aouni versus Waiek, mm. Aouni did not go and sit on TV or radio and say that Waiek has been um, infringed on my rights of natural justice and I'll get my day in court on the um, on a TV set. Yeah. He, he, the, uh, the person Super went to court, to court yeah. at the high court. Mm. And then indeed, why some sanctions was issued by the high court against why? Because that is the appropriate forum. Okay. If in a matter of misconduct of anybody who is practicing law, mm. there, are, there are appropriate forums that you can face. You can go to the General Legal Council. Mm. You can go to the Disciplinary Committee of the Ghana Bar Association. You can even take the matter in um, a full-blown um, um, high, uh, like a, a, a co superior court. Mm. These are avenues available to, to you if you are interested in bringing finality to it. As for you wanting to or seeking to update Ghanaians or so of course, I mean, Ghanaians are interested in everything happening in and around us and they deserve mm. to know. Yeah, but so then I am saying why are you that complaining? If, no, I'm not complaining. No, not I complaining. am saying that you should help the development of our democratic process by taking whichever evidence you claim to have and test it before the law. Mm. But finally, okay. two of these matters are I, not determined because... I don't, I don't get uh, you. We no. are in court. You are not in court on the matters... Uh, how do you know? No, you are, you are not in court. Are you in court? Uh, you are not yes, in court. we are in court. On this matter? No, the, you are not yes, in court. Yes, we are in court. You have not taken the AG to court. Oh, we are in court. Okay. Do you, know, you know the processes that have been no, filed? No, so if you are in court, tell us. Tell I'm, us. I'm telling you. you should be able to tell us. He is saying that they are filed. They filed. They filed. Yesterday, they filed even two applications. If you file an application, you should be able to tell us that you have filed this application at this court. Oh, you don't just want to say we are in court. I am telling you that, look, two applications, one for stay of uh, uh, prosecution, mm. uh, proceedings or prosecution, whatever, mm. and then another one, there's application to challenge the competence of the Attorney General to continue with the matter as a result of these uh, revelations. Okay. All right. So, so you enough. can't, don't, don't teach us what to do. We know what to do. We are, we are doing it. Let, let, but we, what, need, we need to, to, this is a political let, matter. Let you, for you, David, for David, you, David, you let, no, let me make the point that, you see, we have, we have said that this is a political trial. It's a political prosecution. It's a persecution. And so there's an aspect of it that, that has to be fought at the political arena also. And we are doing that, and nobody can stop us. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. Thank yes. you. David, David, yes. this is a trial in court and not a political trial. Political trials are not done in court. Okay. Oh. This, is how, this is how he feels and on, on behalf of the NDC. So don't complain. Yeah. Leave us. 